What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Monster Bass unbagging. Un unbag. It's hard to remember to say that. It's not a box anymore. It's a bag. Unbagging the June Topwater bag and sneak attack giveaway, baby. We're going to be giving away a whole crap ton of baits. If you guys haven't noticed, this wall be looking empty. That's because I already boxed up all these baits. Real quick, before I tell you how you can win this giveaway, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash a like on this video, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more content. And then come hang out with me and my buddy Paul, co-host of the Burley Fishing Podcast. We live stream right here on YouTube every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. All right, here's the deal. I have here a 3,700 size cast king tackle tray, and it is filled to the brim with baits. Check this out. I'm gonna open this up, walk you through them real quick, like shortest run through you've ever gosh dang seen. This was the, uh, what people were calling the jerk bait row of my wall, right? Cause there's mostly jerk baits on that. And I wanna show you just a few of the baits that are gonna be in there. And they're gonna come out of my box looking just like this. You figure out how to manage this on your own. This is just so I can get you the baits more easily. All right, so what's in here? We got all sorts of jerk baits. We got a little cutter there. We got a, a Jinko. Jinko? Yeah, that's a Jinko. A couple little Meyer Fire Tiger. Meyer, by the way, is kind of like a kind of like a Walmart, but you know, there's you know, there's a few of those in there. This is the the rattle spot minnow. We've got a monster bass jerk bait in there. We got a lunker hunt perch in there. We got a fish lab. That one's brand new. Going right to you. Even such things as like Lucky Strike. That's the Rick Clun. Don't stab yourself. Don't stab yourself. Don't stab yourself. Good job. Got this color from Fish Lab. That's pretty slick. You guys saw these in my, my big old $5,000 fishing tackle unboxing. And if you haven't, link's up there. We got the Rattle and Rogue from Smithwick. That's legit. Got this random one from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Don't even remember. Got a little Lunker Hunt there. A little Alabama Slammer. That one's from a Monster Bass box. Another Carl's Bait and Tackle. Got two Strike Pros right here. Cool different colors there. Those are legit jerk baits. Moving on to some top water stuff. I love how these are coming out of this thing right now. Uh, another Strike Pro Swing Pop Lunker Hunt Link. It's a you know two piece kind of top water jointed top water. Well, Lunker Hunt Popper. Ooh, Monster Bass Patriot 2.0. Got some Super K top waters, Super K jig top waters. This one's pretty nice here. This is the Little Stick. This thing should bang if you're down south. And we've got another little Carl's Bait and Tackle special there. We've got a frog style top water plopper from Bass Pro Shop. And there's more Lunker Hunt Popper. This one's interesting. That Weston with that little prop tail, little whopper plopper style. Bait, Strike Pro Jointed Swim Bait, Strike Pro Wake Bait. No idea where I got this one. Little multi-jointed swim bait. Something that would look amazing on your wall right here. This is the original Ragnar from Monster Bass. Look at the eyes on these things. Absolutely gosh dang ridiculous, but pretty slick little top water. Little. There you have it. Comes in this brand new tackle box, never been used, and I'll include all the dividers in that. Here's how you win. First of all, watch the rest of this video because we're going to open up the June Topwater Bag for Monster Bass. So stay tuned to see what kind of baits you might be getting in this bag if you'd be so interested to subscribe or you're already a subscriber. Second of all, be subscribed to the channel. You're going to have to be a subscriber in order to win. Third of all, share the channel and especially this video with your fishing friends. You're still going to have a really good chance of winning, but it helps us grow our amazing community, which is already growing here on Instagram, on Discord, on TikTok. We all over the place. Facebook's growing too. We love you guys. We want to talk to you more. We want to interact with you more. You're awesome. So join our group. Keep sharing with your fishing friends that you like. And finally, how you actually win. I'm going to do a random comment generator. So I'm going to pick a random comment from below. All you need to do is type out in the comment section your bright spot. That's right. We're going old school. This is how we did our original giveaways on the channel. I love it so much. I want to bring it back. So smash a like on this video. Be a subscriber and comment below your bright spot. What is going well for you in your life right now? Could be anything. Work related, fishing related, life related, family related, anything at all. One thing that is going really well for you. Something you're proud of, something that makes you happy. Type it out below. Coolest thing about this community you're going to find out is that everybody is going to read those comments. Not just me. 
You're gonna get a ton of likes on those comments. Everybody gets to feel good about it. I love this because bright spots make everybody feel good. You gotta search for those silver linings sometimes. Life isn't always easy. We totally get that. I respect that. But you find those slivers of hope and you hang on to them. That's the bright spot. So dig in, even if it's tough, type me out a bright spot because when I pick the random comment, you'll have to be a subscriber, have liked the video, and have written something really nice down below. And if you did all those things, you met the criteria, you might just win this case of, a, I believe, 32 baits. Be a pretty good leg up on your tackle, I would say. And they'll catch you some dang fish. So today, as of the dropping of this video, it's the 14th, Monday the 14th. This giveaway ends on Friday the 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm gonna pick a random comment as the winner and I'm going to reply to your comments. So you're gonna need to have your notification bells turned on and your app notifications turned on for YouTube so that you can see that I commented. Respond to me within 24 hours so that I can get this a good turnaround and ship your products out as soon as possible. All right, let's get to the other main reason we're here, the Monster Bass bag. Let's see what's in this June bag because uh, I got a feeling it's gonna be juicy. First of all, I love the padded envelope that Monster Bass has been using lately. Second of all, we've got an upgraded material once again. Rick said this beginning of the year he was gonna try a bunch of different materials for the bag. This one is neither like the super hard cringe-worthy PVC nor the super soft EVA that we've been using. This feels different. Feels maybe, you know, durable, more durable. Smells very plasticky, but it's gonna hold these baits and that's what really matters. All right, got a bunch of things to break down in here. Let's dive in. Okay, first off, classic MB sticker right here, the Mountain Dew style. I love it, one of my favorites. Second of all, ooh, for real, for real. We got a $10 gift card for the monsterbass.com website. I don't know if you guys have been there recently, but there's tons of apparel, tons of stuff on there. Lots and lots of tackle and burly fishing apparels on there. So if you want to pick up your own shirt and hat, we're selling them on there. Uh, so that's cool. So that gets you 10 bucks off of an order of $25 or more. Burly fishing hats are 25 bucks. That's weird. Next up, we got, uh, I can't show you my number, but we got the golden ticket. If you guys listen to Monster Bass Live, you follow them on YouTube. They live stream every Thursday, right before we do actually, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then we go live at eight and they're giving away $10,000 worth of prizes. So you got a chance, a pretty good chance of winning something. Take your ticket to the show. Listen for when Rick reads it off. Next up, we got our little insert here. We got Miss Wish I Was Fishing right on the cover. That's pretty gosh dang cool. And on the inside, we got the value card now. So the value of each of those baits included inside. Uh, we're gonna walk through them here, obviously in a second. Couple cool pictures, maybe some PBs and stuff. And uh, things that are coming up, Big Bass Championship. Enter that, download Tourney X and you can check that out. We got Rick's VIP list, we got golden ticket information. Oh, and wouldn't you know it on the back, channels we love, who's that nerd right there? Or that nerd or that nerd or that nerd, they're all nerds. Bunch of dorks. Go follow them, like and subscribe. Alex Rudd, Burley Fishing, Smallmouth Crush, Fishing with Lone Star, all cool people that catch fish. Set me, of course. Can we get to the baits now? Let's go. First thing off the top, getting this out of the way, but it is gonna be something useful for us to use. Must add hooks. Fantastic hooks. They're red, they're EWGs. Enough said. Aside from that, we got way more baits to go through. So next up, we got the Buzzing Warmouth. This one here, coming from Big Bite Baits. Uh, this is something that you would rig Texas rig style and you can run it like a topwater. Let's crack it open. Of course, you can also fish these on the bottom, all sorts of different things we can do with it, but there we go. My bad. Oh, it's juicy, very juicy. Juicy, juicy bait. Here we go, so we got this kind of like fish style here. Got a little paddle tails kind of off the end. Check that out, it's even got like a little fin off the top of that, that's pretty cool. Nice thin legs that still feel fairly durable, like they'll hold up to a few bites hopefully more than a few. And I mean, as you could assume, just from looking at this, it's like a soft body frog, right? Plastic frog. We're gonna thread our, told you these would come back, must add hooks. We're gonna T-rig this, so Texas rig style. I like to go weightless. This is a hefty plastic. It's, uh, it's pretty dense. It's probably gonna sink a bit. So you're gonna just rig it weightless, cast this baby out there, High speed reel, like seven, three to one, up to like an eight to one kind of gear ratio. Burn that baby back to the boat and these legs are just gonna be kicking the whole way back. 
Um, I've used these baits a little bit, not really like something I'm proficient at, so it's kind of cool to see that in this bag because it means it's something else that I get to try and get better at. Ends up being another tool for the tool belt, so maybe when this scenario comes up where it makes sense to throw something like this, I'll be ready. I like that, I think that's cool. Good bait pairs with something else that came in the bag. Next up, we got a top water popper. This one coming from Vicious Fishing. This is the V-Pop 80. And these Vicious baits that you guys are getting in these bags, by the way, are MB exclusives. So you're not getting them anywhere else. So this right here is a hefty boy. That is a big popper. I'm used to throwing really small poppers here in Michigan. They work really well. When you throw a small popper here in Michigan, you're getting all sorts of panfish, you get rock bass, and then you also get largies and smallies on them. This right here is a hefty boy though. This is three quarters of an ounce. This color is more of this like ghost bone. You got this like purple eyeliner. This is, this is an emo popper right here. Listen to a lot of My Chemical Romance, you know, really hates his dad, that kind of deal. So he's got his eyeliner on. His eyes are very red because he's been crying a lot. That's fine. That's cool. That's okay. This color by Vicious is just called Bone, but it's, if you're used to Bone, it's sort of like this off-white type color. Do you like the texture that they have on this? I think that's cool. I'm loving this like feathered treble with the streamer material. That looks nice. Seems long enough and you know, they're rocking those mustad hooks. These are really high quality trebles. They're gonna catch fish. They're gonna keep them pinned. They're gonna do their job. You don't have to replace them right out of the box. And something really cool about this, split ring. You don't always get a split ring included with your poppers, so I think that's cool. It means you really don't necessarily have to tie a loop knot to get the most action out of this. Of course you can, and I would recommend if you want more action to learn and get proficient at loop knots, but the split ring goes a long way to really help you out with that. Also, look how deep this like scooped mouth is. That's gonna spit a ton of water. You're gonna be able to bloop this baby. So if you go rod tip down, pop down, you get like this blooping action with poppers. Uh, and then you can also run it a little bit, like reel up and you get sort of a gurgling effect as it goes through the water. Oh, by the way, very, very heavy rattle. <laughs> Next up, we've got another MB exclusive here, the Monster Bass Patriot 3.0. I don't know if you guys know this, but go way back in like the uh, MTB, the Mystery Tackle Box archive, they were demoing the Patriot, the Monster Bass Patriot. Way back when, man, isn't that nuts? And we're all the way up at this point to iteration three. This is the 3.0. Um, differences, I can tell you the differences. Here's the 2.0 that one of you is gonna win in the giveaway. Here's the 3.0. One immediate difference stands out, check that out. We now have the feathered treble. I'm gonna be honest, I love this on walking baits and on poppers. Whenever I see this, I get excited. This just draws bites. It's just better. So the 3.0 having that is good to see. I noticed they've also printed Monster Bass up on the top versus the 2.0 didn't have that. Other than that, shape seems to be very similar. The eyes are like exactly the same. I like that there's a little more black on the 3.0 up on the head. I think that looks good. Ooh, the belly on that crack design. A lot more detailed on the 3.0. Hooks upgraded. These are the old trebles they were using, like an older form of mustad maybe. Now we've got the sweeping treble action on the 3.0, so better trebles on that. Line tie placement's exactly the same. Tail section looks exactly the same. Body shape, you guys notice anything? Pretty much exactly the same. I think the tail section is a little bit of a steeper sweep maybe on the 3.0 and uh, Rattles may be subtly different. A few definite differences. Again, really like that feathered treble. And of course, that's something you can swap out yourself, but it's upgraded trebles with a feather on the back stock now. And I do like the, uh, the head section a bit more on the 3.0. So definitely an upgrade. Definitely looks better. I can dig that. Good topwater walking bait. All right, let's get into something else new to me, definitely. This is the Thunderhawk buzz toad. So if you guys have ever thrown a buzz bait or topwater frog or 
a buzzing topwater frog, you might be familiar with this type of setup. Let's check this baby out. This I can see working in a ton of conditions. Little, little DIY build it yourself situation here. Now it comes with a soft body frog. This is a Thunderhawk soft body frog. So what I like about this is these little kicky feet here, this nice little offset paddle. So as you're running that through the water, those legs are kicking. It's a perfect like buzz bait trailer. If you guys throw buzz baits, paddle tails are great. These things are fantastic too. So if you ever throw a soft body frog or alternatively, we throw this buzzing warm mouth from Big Bite Baits, another great option. I like the green color, it looks like we got green pumpkin on top and that like chartreuse belly. Comes with, looks to be like a four aught EWG. So we're gonna Texas rig this to that. And then got the buzz bait section. So buzz baits always come with this like freaking crazy wackadoodle metal piece here uh, that's designed to spin and be real loud. And it's gonna just turn with the water. You can see those little bent edges. It's gonna be rotating through the water. Cool thing about this one, it's this little head section. It's unique. So it comes with an added weight. This is a quarter ounce. So because of that weight, you're gonna have to burn this thing. And that's kind of the idea with a buzz bait. Cast it out, reel up fast, get it to the top of the water column, and then just reel it in. The other cool thing is you can fish buzz baits underwater like a spinner bait. This is still gonna have flash, still gonna make noise underwater, and it can be a completely different way to target like suspending bass. It will really draw them out. So what we're gonna do is we have to assemble this thing. So we're gonna take our hook, we're gonna take our buzz bait piece, and we're just gonna thread that baby on. Looks like it just snaps in there. There you go. And that's the rig, just like that. You're running that across the water column. And if you want, you can swap out your hook anytime you want. Maybe you have a few hooks rigged up with a few different types of soft plastics, then you can just change it up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the one that it came with first. So we're just gonna Texas rig that right through the nose, punch it out just a short distance below that run our plastic all the way up and then flip it just like so. So then we have our exposed hook here, which will go back and punch through, <sighs> unfortunately, the crotchal region of said frog <laughs> where it punches through, oh my gosh, poor guy. And then we're just going to make it weedless. Not as important with a buzz bait because we should be burning on the surface, but you can throw buzz baits through the sloppy stuff. They hold up pretty well without getting too clogged up. We'll see how this one does. Uh, we're gonna put her to the test. There you go. Thunderhawk buzzing toad. Looks good, I like it. Can't wait to throw that around. Again, sort of a newer technique to me. And again, that's why I get these bags. Learning something new. All right, you guys, three more baits left. I think it's frog in time. These are all top water, hollow body frog and style baits. Let's take a look. Okay, so first up, we got the Lunker Hunt Yappa series. Now. This one is the uh, top water, like water bug, water beetle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a little more of a finesse style top water bait. There's no tail, okay? Um, it has this Yappa series, always has this like rubber cupped, scooped mouth, whatever you want to call it. So kind of like a jitter bug if it was soft. And this comes in a pretty nice color here. It's like green with that orange belly. This color is called Firefly. Orange belly with that yellow is different from any other frogs I have. So that's probably like the one big saving grace for me is I think that's cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the Yappa series unless it's that rat. The Yappa rat with the one stranded skirt coming out the back I think is pretty legit. Uh, I, was, I, I got one of these last year, like this kind of one in red and just like it took me forever to catch a fish on it. I caught something on everything in the bag which is cool, but that red took forever. This, however, maybe just looks a little bit different. Maybe I could do good. The nice thing about the Yappas, like the big positive I'll give them is that they have this really tight wobbling walking action. So you're more going to walk this thing versus like a popping frog. You're like popping the rod to get it to spit water or like a pad crasher where you're just like popping it through the lily pads and stuff like that. This thing can go open water. It can also go through the pads and the nasty stuff, I've used them, but it's gonna have a way better walking action. So this thing looks pretty phenomenal in the water. I wish I got one of the skirted ones, but is what it is. So that one, not exactly a bang for me, but also not a bust. I think we can do something with it. Next up, I like these. 
This one right here is a good size too. So that is the Z-Man Leapfrogs. And this one comes in green leopard, they call it. Just like a more natural froggy color. I like these because they're super plush, very durable. I've got a few of them. Uh, it's a pop and frog, but it's got a unique shape of that mouth that I think really helps, especially with the line tie position to really like walk this through even tough cover. Uh, pretty long skirt, something you can definitely trim. I recommend if you're getting short struck, trim this thing down. If you guys wanna see more about this, I'm gonna be dropping a video on the Monster Bass channel next week. So stay tuned for it. We'll talk about frog and setups and all that. Uh, it's just, just getting to like frogging season here in Michigan. I've got buddies that are getting into it. I'm excited for them. Paul got into a few. I've gotten top water, but open water on like ploppers. Haven't had any frogs yet. Uh, truthfully, first time I threw a frog this year was uh, yesterday when I went out fishing with Paul. So, uh, and it was this one, I threw it around. I, I got a few good blow ups, had one almost committing to it, but got short struck. So again, I would say, from that skirt if that's happening to you. One thing I really love about these Z-Man frogs though is look at the hook position. So it's coming straight forward, not too far down, which means you're gonna miss more, not too far up, which means you're gonna miss more. It's that nice neutral angle, love that. And they kind of come inwards, which I think is cool. It's gonna help you keep it in the mouth of the bass, even if it's a smaller fish. I think that positioning on the body looks really good too. Again, plush frog. Not gonna miss too many hookups with this baby. I think we got a good shot. And I love this size, it's a little bit smaller. I think the one Paul got in his box was like a, a brown and yellow and it was uh, an upsized version of this, a little bit bigger. Personally, I love throwing smaller frogs. I just seem to get more catches on them. Then you get to this baby. <laughs> so this year, interesting company, very interesting company. This is totally different than what I expected. So this is Fat Bastard. This frog is called Pyro Pete. This is again a pop and frog, but look at the shape of this mouth. Looks like he got his lower jaw ripped out. That is disturbing to say the least, <laughs> holy cow. But this plastic is insanely supple. That is absolutely absurd, holy cow. And we've got a, a shorter skirt. Nothing needs to be trimmed here, I would say. They're close together. It's actually two separate kind of strands there on the skirt. So those are close together, black and orange, very interesting colors, obviously hot rod flames going down this frog. If anything, this is a good conversation starter. Full transparency, I had one of these last year and I lost it on my first cast to uh, what I believe was a snapping turtle or a pike. And uh, I'm excited to have it back. I'm a little worried about throwing this thing because uh, I don't want to lose it. But I think you guys already noticed the other crazy thing about this frog. There's a gosh dang Colorado blade down here. I don't know how that's gonna perform, it doesn't rotate. It's on a split ring. It doesn't fully rotate. It's just gonna kinda like waver back and forth. This looks weird, doesn't it? Sorry. Uh, it's just gonna move back and forth as this goes through the water. Maybe adding a little extra sound and uh, a little flash. I don't know how that's gonna hold up in the weeds and stuff, uh, in the sloppiness, in the pads. I don't know, we're gonna see. Um, again, very interesting mouth. I've never seen something like that. I, I am intrigued, dare I say excited, to throw this thing. It's got crazy looking eyes on it too. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh. This thing is absurd. Uh, nice. I'm gonna, I, I, dude, I, I am at a loss for words, apparently. I can't wait to throw this thing. I'm excited to see what it does. That's gonna be interesting. Got our bag here. Let's fill her back up. Quick recap. We had... Z-Man Frog, Fat Bastard Frog, Yappa Water Bug, Thunderhawk Buzzing Toad, Must Add Hooks, which will help us rig things like the Big Bite Baits War Mouth, the Buzzing War Mouth. And then we're not gonna throw these in the bag because they got lots and lots of hooks exposed, but we had that Vicious Fishing Topwater Popper, the V-Pop 80, and then we had the Monster Bass Patriot 3.0. I'm excited for all these baits, you guys. I'm excited for it to be summer, it's time to get outside, sun is shining, it is warm. That is something that we look forward to here in Michigan often. You guys up north, you know what I'm talking about. And because it's warming up, the water temps are up, the fish are eating on top, and I know you guys agree with me. There is nothing better than a topwater take from a bass or a pike or any fish in general. And I'm hoping that we can get a lot of topwater catches on these babies right here. So 
Stay tuned. We're going to get another video going where we take these out on the water and we try and fish them all and see what we can do. Stay tuned to the Monster Bass YouTube channel because you'll see a video from me for the Z-Man Leap Frogs. That'll be over there. And of course, don't forget, enter the giveaway. Comment below with your bright spot. Make sure that you're subscribed. You got your notifications turned on and you smash your like on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. You've been awesome as always. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you can get a chance to get out on the water, go fishing, hang out with your friends and family and enjoy life. Until the next video, guys, we'll see you on the water.